Why not 301 to hub pages? I have an aged forum URL that fits within the broader uh, domain niche I have. I was going to make a hub just for that as I as if I bought the forum. Sure. I feel like that actually kind of makes some sense. Yeah, that'd be one of the first times that I'm <laughs> hearing somebody um, ask where I'm like, that is an example of a time where you can use a 301, in my opinion, um, that would act naturally with what you're trying to do. Um, yeah. In comparison to like what we were just looking at, which is a random blog post about a ran it's random informational article uh, that gets a 301 with a decent amount of power to it. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, hypothetically, let's go back into the real world example. Company A buys this power forum that matches the niche, merges together the what is a exclusively a forum, and then is recreating that forum essentially on their platform. Boom! Yeah, that is uh, that to me makes perfect sense. Yeah, you can think about it like like this. Uh, let's say that uh, SirLinksalot.co, which is us, our amazing link building agency. Let's say SirLinksalot.co acquires an AI backlink tool, okay? We buy an AI backlink tool. And so now we're, we're saying, okay, well, we, we just bought this company. Now we're actually just gonna 301 their entire website to you know a page on our website and have it up on our, on our main menu bar, you know? So you know, it just goes straight to there now. And that would make complete sense, right? Um, yeah. You know, it's probably kind of how things are intended to do versus uh, what SEOs are trying to do, you know, which is kind of game the system versus like an, a legit like takeover of an, something that's operating over here and just moving it to your main site. Yeah, I feel like that's something that, you know, is well worth always considering, especially like as a newer SEO. And, and from what it sounds like, you've, you're, you've probably been an SEO for a little while, but um, you know, if you're a newer SEO watching this episode, always try and you know contemplate what might happen naturally um, when it comes to websites being bought used sold etc and try and emulate uh, you know what you can kind of conceptualize there or you know through experience the more you look through a refs uh, the more you look through like massive sites that have existed for a long period of time you're going to start learning patterns about you know what exists um, how to kind of recreate those things and then how to get away with um, <laughs> manipulating data sets that help you rank websites in Google. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.